This seems like appropriate mushroom hunting weather. So it's actually the first day of gun season today, and I would have actually liked to be out deer hunting today, but I didn't do any preparation or anything, and I gotta get out in the woods. So I'm actually curious if I can find some mushrooms in this weather. So that's what I'm gonna go try to do. Oh, there's that delicious bag of mushrooms. I, oh, it's even older now. I keep finding that thing. Oh, good. I've gotten here before all the other mushroom hunters. I better hurry. This is the first snow of the year. I really don't know if I'll be able to find something today. I don't really even have a strategy. I just wanted to get out and see if it was possible. So I think my best bet would be oysters. Or maybe, if I'm really lucky, I'll find a, a hint of the woods that popped real late. So, it's also possible to find a chicken mushroom, but they're probably already done for the year. It's just a good day to be out, though. I see something under this log up here. I'm thinking it's a white crust fungus, but I need to go check it out. Not what I'm looking for. There's another one. This is kind of one of the locations you watch for when you're hunting in the winter. You get kind of a little microclimate underneath a log. See, these mushrooms are fresh. They're just not the ones we want. Okay, well this is a little disappointing because I was in these woods about three weeks ago and I walked down this trail on the other side of this tree when these would have been fresh. Can you see it? Can you tell what they are? Lion's mane. They're gone a little bit far now, but so this is usually the conundrum lion's mane will give me in my woods is they like to be about 20 feet up on the tree just to torture me. But I would have worked on getting them down. In fact, I'm still thinking about it. I mean, I see a little bit of mold on the top, but they might be dehydrated. Oh man, they do kind of look dehydrated. At least that batch right there. Ooh, this batch right here. Looks like it dried on the tree. I never tried dehydrated lion's mane before. I've never harvested them like that off of a tree, but let's give it a shot. You need one big enough that it can put a little force that high up on the tree. It needs to have a crotch like this, so you can wedge it in there to push it off. Let's try this, I think we, I think we might have a link here, says Derek's mom. There's a little one 
right here. Oh, yes. Come on, baby. Yes. And we'll go ahead and check you. Oh, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. One, two. Where's the other one? Oh, she formed a snowball and rolled down the hill. You got to be kidding me. Honestly, I don't know the condition uh, for sure, but I think I've got some edible mushroom on here. See, this one looks a little rotten on the top, but this one, this one's got a lot of nice looking tissue, so it might just be a matter of cleaning some of this off. But look at this, lion's mane in the snow. <laughs> this makes my day because this is a tree I didn't know produced. I walk by it all the time, but the trail goes on the bottom of the hill. And I mean it, three weeks ago I was here when this would have been choice. I spent the whole day in the woods and I, it was a bad day shrooming. If I had found these then, oh, would have been awesome. But no, you know what? I don't care. That might even be better to have found them today. Because finding them while it's snowing this is just a little more sweet. We're working out. Doing these 12 ounce curls. Man, dude, I'm getting shredded. Now this is about what you look for when you're trying to find oysters in the winter. Sometimes they'll be fresh if it's warmer, but a lot of times they'll be dehydrated on the tree. I'm not gonna mess with that one because it's a little high and I don't have my mushroom poking stick. So, walk on by. You know, winter's a great time to harvest other mushrooms like turkey tail. I just kind of pass these over and kind of forget to mention it sometimes. But if you like making uh, herbal tea and things like that, um, winter really is the best time to come out and get these mushrooms. See, they don't really like to mold or anything like that in the winter. You want that white bottom and uh, that turkey top. If you've never had mushroom tea, something you might want to look into. Not sure what it is. Oh, is it an oyster? It's a young oyster. Look at this. And that is exactly what you want. Look at this. This is young. Oh man, that is perfect. It got stunted from the cold, so it kind of. Got a little funky looking, but that is choice and it's frozen solid. Yes, nice little haul there. There we go. Maybe go ahead and just trim a little bit of that stuff off right there. Look at that. It may not look as pretty as when they're perfectly fresh, but I promise you this may actually taste better because these little dried parts are gonna absorb the flavor. This is that oyster I found. This is absolutely perfect. It's already kind of thawed. I really don't even have anything much to trim off of it because I took it pretty clean off of the tree. Look at this. This is perfect. I think we can just kind of pull it apart. A few little bugs living in there, but that happens. Yeah, we're just going to pull these apart like this into little pieces. That and The bugs are all coming out when I do that, so... Our oysters. Actually, here, we'll do the lion's mane over here. Then we'll do the shrimp in the middle.
I just like dry, <laughs> chewy. Yeah. That's good. Have I ever had? I think have I, I think I've had lion's mane before, right? It tastes good. Yeah, you've had lion's mane before. Is That's that right. the the Ballard Park or whatever the the one on the tree? Mm-hmm. Yep. These are soft. I think. Well, it needs to go in the trash can. Mm. Tastes like chicken. <laughs>